Hey there, don't be afraid. Oh, 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 oh. Every time. Why do I even bother saying don't be afraid? They're always afraid. My, it's, it's, it's an angel. I can't believe it. Yes, an angel, and I have good news. Oh, what a relief. What is it? A baby is born. Wait, that's it? Babies are born all the time. Why should we care about that? Well, this one's the king. Okay, so that's a big deal. But why are you telling us? We're shepherds, not royalty. Well, you are invited to go see the newborn king. Wait, why are the shepherds invited? That doesn't make any sense. Important people go visit the king, not shepherds. Okay, you have the chance to see the king. Are you really going to turn that down? Well, no, but we don't have fancy clothes, we can't take a shower, and we will have to bring these sheep. We can't just leave them here, you know. Well, that's not a problem. There are already sheep there. They'll fit right in. <laughs> what do you mean there are already sheep there? Why, why are there sheep in the palace? That's weird. Wait, who said anything about a palace? But that's where the king would be born, right? At, at a palace. Well, usually, yes, but not this time. This king was born in a stable. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I must have heard you wrong. I thought you said a stable. <laughs> I am yeah, definitely hearing See, you. I, I did say a stable. The newborn king is in a stable. Okay. I don't want to sound rude here, but why is the king in a stable? Kings belong in palaces. Kings are important and powerful. They should be surrounded by gold and linens and fine, fancy people. How on earth did a king end up being born in a stable? Well, the king is God's son. Yeah, well, that doesn't answer any of my questions, really. In fact, that makes it more confusing. God's son born in a stable? That's crazy. Why would God do that? Well, you know, God is known for doing some pretty outlandish things. For example, when he flooded the whole earth. <laughs> a guy getting swallowed up and spit out by a fish? Yes, or the Israelites running across the bottom of the sea to escape the Pharaoh. Don't forget that tonky, the talking donkey. <laughs> I guess he talks better than I do, but I love that one. God has watched the people struggle since the beginning of creation, and Despite all of God's efforts to help them follow God's way, they just can't. So God sent a baby? Yes, God was born as a baby. God figured that if the people had a hard time understanding God as this mysterious celestial being, then maybe they would understand God better as a human. Okay, I guess that makes sense. But even as a human, God could have been born in a palace, or at least... Well, that's true, but in keeping with God's ways, God wanted this baby to turn the ways of power upside down. This baby will not be stuck in any stereotypes of power, and yet will be more powerful than all the kings of the world combined. Rewriting the rules, huh? Because if a talk talking donkey isn't too crazy, a king born in a stable is pretty reasonable. Yeah, and that's not all. Seriously? This baby will also save all of humanity. Oh, oh, I don't even know what to say to that. Try hallelujah. Okay, that's what we say at Easter. This is Christmas. Well, hallelujah is how we shout praise and joy at our freedom from sins. And our salvation is born on Christmas. God becoming human sets us free from sin and death. Hallelujah. <laughs> now you're getting it. Oh, one more question. How long will God's son, the king, be visiting? I don't want to miss it. Wait, visiting? <laughs> no, no, you've got it all wrong. God isn't a visitor here. This is God's home. God lives in God's creation. You are God's home. Now, now you're really blowing my mind. It's one thing for the creator of all to temporarily visit a stable in a no-name town called Bethlehem and appear to us outcast shepherds. But we can't be his home. I mean, I 
appreciate the thought, I'd appreciate the visit, but no way does he live with us permanently. But that is just the point of this birth. God's creation has so often missed seeing God's love in and among them. You don't understand that this really is where God lives. I thought God's home was in heaven. Well, God is at home everywhere. The baby in the manger in swaddling clothes makes that clear. God wants you to see God in the most ordinary, everyday, lowly, even painful places. Wow. We better get on the road. All of the other shepherds might take some convincing. Can you stick around and tell the rest of the guys? I can do you one better. I'll get the whole angel choir oh. and we'll sing you on your way. Singing is what we do best. And scaring people, apparently. All right. Hey, guys. Do you see what I see?